Happy New Year to all of you. May happiness knock on your door early in 2024, stay late, and bring the gifts of joy, peace, and good health. So here is our outlook for 2024. We are aware of the long list of indicators that still argue in favor of a recession. These include the continued inversion of the yield curve, steadily declining leading economic indicators, and negative growth in bank deposits. We acknowledge these factors will continue to slow growth down. Our base case, however, calls for below trend, but still positive GDP growth. Our worst case scenario is a short and shallow recession. We assign low odds to a traditional or deep recession. Lower inflation in 2024 will support consumer spending and offset any lagged effects of higher interest rates. Even as the job market gets softer, the unemployment rate will remain well below 4.5%. We do not anticipate any meaningful uptick in inflation from here on. Inflation should continue to decline in a fairly orderly manner to just below 2.5%. The impetus for lower inflation in 2024 will come from declining shelter inflation, a weaker job market, and continued productivity gains. It may be difficult to achieve the Fed's 2% inflation goal in the next couple of years. A higher floor on inflation may emerge from a couple of factors. Modestly resilient growth in the near term and an aging population which limits labor supply in the long run. With the significant progress on disinflation, the Fed is already quite restrictive in its policy. If inflation falls further in 2024, the Fed will have the flexibility to cut rates several times. We expect five to seven rate cuts in 2024, beginning in March or May. We expect the 10-year bond yield to normalize just below 4%. We are more comfortable with earnings estimates and stock valuations than the current consensus view. We believe that lower inflation in 2024 will lead to higher profit margins. We also believe that higher P.E. ratios are fundamentally supported by the higher profitability of companies within the S&P 500 index. We do not expect political or geopolitical risks to materially affect stock or bond returns. For calendar year 2024, we expect mid-single-digit bond returns and high single-digit stock returns. We see more upside for stocks than we do for bonds. We remain bullish on stocks, but at a lower portfolio weight than in prior years. Mm -hmm.